Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, we meet again in our um, new video. So we're going to cover a new chapter today. It's called Numerical Integration and Differentiation. So I'm sure you are very familiar with integration and differentiation. So don't worry. In this chapter, we're not going to do any calculus calculation. All right. If you're bad with calculus, so you're going to love this because you're definitely uh, going to learn new methods, how to integrate and differentiate without even using the calculus way. All right. So in this video, um, you're going to hear some noises like from the vehicles outside my house because this is recorded uh, when I'm working from home. So please ignore all those noises. All right. Okay. So we're going to look into um, first numerical integration. So this slide is just uh, um, to introduce you or maybe to refresh back your memory on what is integration. I hope that nobody in my class don't even know what integration uh, means. So this is how you we solve it in, um, in calculus way. So this is integration, all right? Where i is the integral, the function fx. Um, with respect to independent variable x evaluated between limits. So this is limits a uh, and b, all right? Limit a to limit b. <clears throat> so when you do integration, um, this is your function here. fx is the, um, the solid line here. So when you do integration for this function between limit a and limit b and you are actually calculating the area under the curve. So you are actually calculating this area here. How much is the area? And that is what integration is all about when you do integration of for a function between a certain limit. Okay, let's look at the first method that we're going to learn in this numerical, numerical ways, which what we call as trapezoidal rule. Okay, so this is the formula i is the integral equals to b minus a and then fa plus fb uh, divided by 2. The concept is actually um, drawing a trapezoid. You know trapezoid? This is a trapezoid. So trapezoid is equivalent, um, trapezoidal rule is equivalent to approximate the area of the trapezoidal. So let's say this is your function, your fx. And this is your limit A and B. And if you we, if you draw a trapezoid between A and B, you will get this area. This area is actually the area of the trapezoid. And you are calculating this area for the trapezoidal rule. So by doing this, you can see that you, you are neglecting, we are neglecting the, the area under the curve which is not under the trapezoid which is not even in the trapezoid so this part here is the error the error that um, we have to we have to bear if we use trapezoidal rule so trapezoidal rule is not an accurate method to calculate an integral of a function between a certain limit so let's look at one example here use trapezoidal rule to integrate the function below. So this is your function and given here the limit from 0 to 0 0.8. So also given the exact value of the integral, so which is this. This is the true value of the integral. Integral. So how do they get this? Is by solving this uh, using the normal integration way, integral way, the calculus way. So when they insert or when they substitute 0 and 0 0.8 into the integral, they will get this value. But in this case, you are asked to solve this using the numerical trapezoidal rule. So using the formula just now, you just substitute everything. This is B minus A. B is 0 0.8 minus A. A is uh, 0. A is 0. So this is 0 0.8 minus 0. FA is what you what you have to do is this is the, the value of the function when you substitute um, A, which is 0, into this function. So you will get 0 0.2. And this is how do you get this? When you substitute B, which is 0 0.8, into this function, you will get 0 0.2. 
two, three, two. Okay, you have to substitute all these values into this fx. So you will get the value of fx a and fx b. Or maybe here fa plus fb and divided by 2. So you will get this value for your integral. And you can see the difference is quite big. So in this example, they are calculating the difference just to show you that the trapezoidal rule is not accurate. So the true error is very large, 89.5%. Okay, so a large error because uh, due to we um, neglect significant portion above the straight line. So you are actually calculating only uh, this part here, the line under the straight line that connects between A and B. So this part, you did not calculate. Okay, next is multiple application trapezoidal rule. So to improve the accuracy of trapezoidal rule, what we do is we divide the integration interval from A to B into a number of segments and apply the methods to each segment. So results equation is called multiple application um, of trapezoidal rule. So for instance, we actually, uh, this is your, your, our limit A and B, and we divide this interval into several interval and we come up with multiple trapezoid. This is uh, two trapezoid, uh, three, and then this is one, two, three, four, four, and this is one, two, three, four, five, five. So we come up with we can come up with um, a number of trapezoids. Uh, two, three, four. These are all multiple application of trapezoidal rule. Okay. So it, it looks something like this lah. When you divide the limit into several segments or composites, but um, there is one condition: the step size between these segments they have to have the same step size or what we call has h h is the step size so h the equation is b minus a your b limit minus a limit divided by n n is the number of segment so let's look at the equation for this multiple application of trapezoidal rule. So this is how to show you how they come up with that multiple equation. So this is again the step size equals to B minus A divided by number of segments, which is the N. And N is number of segments equal width. Okay. So this is the total integral. So when we substitute all this uh, segment into that trapezoidal rule, we can come up with this formula for the multiple application of trapezoidal rule all right b minus a and fx naught plus two times the summation of all the fx the segments in between divided by 2n so this is the formula okay let's look at this example use the two segment trapezoidal rule to estimate the integral of this function from a equals to zero b equals to 0 0.8 and also the, given here the true value of the integral. So in this case, um, the solution is n equals to 2. Because here it's given two segments. So we know n equals to 2. So we can calculate the step size, h. The step size is b minus a divided by n. So b is 0 0.8 minus 0 divided by 2. So the step size is 0 0.4. So why do you need this step size actually? So in this particular example, you are given the first limit which is 0 and then another limit is 0 0.8. So you are asked to solve, to actually divide this into two segments. So it has to be 1 and 2. But you have to identify, sorry, you have to identify what is that middle, what is that middle um, point is so that's why we need to calculate the step size here so as i mentioned just now h the step size is actually this one this is the step size the step size which is actually the difference between um the next point to the next point 
or maybe what you call that the size of the of the segment so here h is 0 0.4 here this one okay so this is h so automatically you can calculate what is the point here so if this is 0 so you just add another 0 0.4 and this should be 0 0.4 and then add another 0 0.4 and this is 0 0.8 so why do you need to know the step size is because you need to calculate what is the next point or maybe it's the middle point that separates this limit into two segments okay so now you have all your points here 0 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 you can actually work out what is the uh, value of the function just substitute all the x's into this fx so you will get 0 0.2 when x equals to 0 you will get 2.456 when x equals to 0.4 and 0.232 when x equals to 0.8 so using this multiple application of trapezoidal rule you just substitute all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 values into this so here b minus a b is 0 0.8 minus 0 so you get 0 0.8 and then fx naught fx naught is this one 0 0.2 and then this is the last the last one fxn which is the 0 0.232 so this is f 0 0.8 and this is f 0 plus plus and in between here you don't forget the 2 here 2 times this one f0.4 so by solving this you will get 1.0688 so if you compare this your answer here with the true integral which is 1.64 you can see that you have improved your answer previously when you used the just single trapezoidal rule it was very bad the answer is 0. Point something so you can see that um, it's improving okay and if you use more segments more than two segments or maybe three four five you will find that you are reaching the true value of the integral okay thank you